Hello and welcome to my first video. Uh, today we're just going to do a uh, video on um, instead of having Exchange 2010 in the uh, home test lab. Uh, we, we all know uh, most ISPs normally block port 25, and that kind of kind of puts a little um, a wrinkle in our, in our testing since we want to accept email on port 25 and into our home test lab. So um, I guess there's a few things you need to do. You know, first you need to have a domain controller, which I have here. Uh, we need an exchange server, which I have here. Uh, and you need to choose a different port, other than port 2525. Um, so, oh, sorry. <laughs> you need to choose a different port other than port 25. So I usually just choose port 2525, just, you know, for its simplicity. So there's a few things you need. Um, first, you need a, a DNS zone. Um, you need a uh, domain name, which I have here. Uh, you're gonna need ghetto SMTP, um, just so it can catch your email on port 25 and re-forward it to you on port 2525. Uh, this is this. This see me is a good website, so you can you know make sure that port that you set up is actually listening on your internal network. And you need to um, set up your uh, port forwarding, so you say okay your virtual server, so I want anything on port 2525 to go into my uh, exchange server, which I have set up as 192.168.1.201 uh, and, you know, port 443 if you want to use, you know, webmail. Um, I don't have a certificate installed on this, so if, if you want to see that, I mean, I can show you, but it'll give you an error about your certificate. And I also added port 25 here just to show you that it is actually blocked. Um, I've told it to come through, but it's it wasn't working, so um but anyway so you, you can use this website just to see that if it's set up properly right now i check my port yes it's it's available on my network i go pull forward for three yes it's available and if i do port 25 i mean it's not going to be available because i don't have nothing listening on port 25 anymore but when i did it got the same results so um so first thing first thing first uh on our uh, exchange server here We'll just uh, open up Exchange. There's two things you need to set up. So y you need to tell your receive connector to accept email on port 2525. Um, by default, it will be on port 25. And you need to change your permission group to allow uh, anonymous act con connections. Otherwise, emails will never be able to authenticate to come through. Um, obviously, uh, I'm running a trial version because I'm, um, you know, testing and, and I don't want to, you know, I'm not paying for this for just my testing. So it is a trial version and it will expire in 115 days. <clears throat> so if I go open my server configuration and go to Hub Transport, uh, you'll see two default receive connectors and it's the default one you want to open up. Uh, by default, this will be on port 25. Um, and then it's always nice to change this to verbose so you can... Uh, get more logs when if you ever need to do some troubleshooting <clears throat> under networking it'll the these local are what you receive email from and it's port 25 so the issue here is if you change this to port 25 25 there's no way for you to tell the world say hey everybody's using port 25 except me I'm using port 25 25 um, it's just not gonna work that way the only way this will work if you really want a secure environment and you're working with the two environment two partners, you say, okay, to me, just send it to me in a port 2525, and that's the only person who will know you're on that port. So what we do here is we tell it to use port 2525, and we tell it the permission group to be anonymous, because that's unchecked by default, <clears throat> and then we need we need someone to accept the email for us on port 25, and then forward us to us on port 2525. So if that's not confusing enough, but it's actually pretty simple. Um, so first thing to do is we need a domain. Um, and I, here's my domain and Joseph server on GoDaddy. Um, I set my name servers to afraid.org, NS1 through 4. The reason why I do this is because I have a, uh, a utility that will detect my uh, DNS, my IP change, since I'm a dynamic, and it'll update my IP address to name at afraid.org. So if I go to afraid.org and I said, uh, okay, mail.joseph.info has a record of this IP address. Right, so that's all set up. I put that in, and then I went to Ghetto SMTP, and I just, uh, it tells you right here, it's 29 bucks for a year for unlimited email redirection, but 
if you have under 5,000 emails or 2,000 emails per day, um, it's you know it's free. So for my testing, that's you know more than enough. So just click on here, the link here, and you fill in the form. And basically, you say um, I'm forwarding an email for joester.info, and I want you to forward the port 2525, and the server name is whatever I told it, it is. So mail that Joseph that info obviously has got to match what I put in here. So if this is Jack that Joseph info, then you just put that in there. And then uh, within an hour or so, uh, they'll send you an email telling you what to do. So they'll tell you, okay, go ahead and put your two MX records. For me, they told me, uh, put my MX records as, you know, one higher preference than the other. So just so you know, the preferences is it will send an email to anything at Joseph info, find out uh, the first preference is 10 it'll go here if they can't connect for there for somebody then it'll hit 20 so what happens here is it sends it to ghetto the smtp smtp will get the smtp says oh this is for at joseph info let me forward it to mail that joseph info it forwards it to here which is actually my own servers and it, then it gets to exchange and exchange will actually deliver it um obviously i don't have no spam forms in the middle right now so typically you would send this to a, a barracuda spam appliance or uh, you know something along those lines so that's all pretty much set up and ready to go. Uh, we did this, we did the check, we did our ACES. So all that's placed and now you're actually ready to accept emails. Um, so if I go to my mailbox, right, I only have, no, sorry, under recipient configuration, I only have one mailbox in here, just an administrator account, right? Uh, so uh, let's see here, I mean, this won't work internally. Um, shouldn't work internally because I don't have this set up, but uh, we'll take a look here. Uh, Joe's Twitter info has oh wow. Uh, <clears throat> well, it is working. So my DNS is working, so that's good. Basically, I'm going to the Outlook Web Access um, and then logging in. By default, if you don't set anything up, up it will force you to put the domain in. That's all customizable, of course. Anyway, so this is uh, my email I got from my Hotmail account. Um, you know, receive the email, no problems. You can always look at, I'm using a light version, so uh, of Internet Explorer, so it doesn't detect it. Um, also, because you're using your internet, your home internet, um, and you've got dynamic IP, a lot of those IPs could be on blacklist or just be blocked for whatever reason. So when I try to send an email out, it tells me, you know, Hotmail, my IP address was on a known blacklist or block list, so it just didn't go through because of that. But you send an email to another email address, uh, uh, like a Gmail account, it, it may go through. But I mean, but for testing, it's it does what it needs to do, right? Um, email flow was there. Uh, the only thing that you had did have do have to do is um, under the organization configuration, <coughs> you need to create a SEM connector, which I've done here. Oh, no, sorry, I thought my send connector. You gotta click on send connectors. <laughs> I created a new one called out, and it's just gonna use the MX record. Um, so you could, you know, tell it, I need you to route all email through this and give it another IP and then change your, if, if it's a paid service or using Gmail, uh, you can put it in here, but you just tell it your authentication piece and it, it, it will go through. Um, pretty straightforward, uh, you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of, Obviously, exchange that's only the very basic setup of exchanges. So, uh, retention policies, retention tags, uh, you create transport rules, email address policies, accepted domain, uh, you know, very simple stuff. Uh, authoritative uh, accepted domain is meaning when email comes to Joseph Info, it stops here. If it can't find the mailbox here, it doesn't care, it bounces back. If you change it to internal relay, and you create an, another send connector for this other domain, it'll come here, because that's what my MX record says to say it comes here, and uh, oh, I can't find this mailbox here, it will forward it to the next site, because it knows that there's it's a shared namespace, meaning some mailboxes exist here, and other mailboxes exist on another server that I'm gonna point it to. Um, anyway, that, that's pretty it, very uh, simple. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, just post them in the comment. I will answer as much as I can. I've been uh, doing this for uh, a little while now. So, um, anyways, if you have any questions, just put them in the comment field, and um, you know I will be glad to answer what I can. Thank you.